Are you looking to add extra content and functionality to your website without having to dramatically change your web pages layout and core content? WordPress themes have a built-in sidebar that allow you to add valuable content that doesn't interfere with the main content on your website. My name is Daniel from Envato Tuts Plus, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to customize your theme's built-in sidebar, including adding and removing content, as well as customizing the content. Not a fan of the WordPress's built-in sidebars? Don't worry, I'll show you how to create a custom sidebar that'll work for your particular website. To help you get the most out of the WordPress sidebars, be sure to check out the popular marketplace Code Canyon, as it offers some of the highest quality widget plugins. These widgets can add important features and functionality to your site that can't be found in the standard WordPress widgets. Code Canyon has an extensive library of the best WordPress widget plugins ever created. With a one-time payment, you can purchase these high quality WordPress widget plugins and add them to your sidebars. Not only can you get these widget plugins from Code Canyon, but you can also find a massive library of over 7,000 other premium WordPress plugins that are sure to take your site to the next level. These include plugins for even more sidebar layouts, e-commerce, calendars, advertising, newsletters, and much more. Before we go over how to customize the sidebar, let's first go over what the WordPress sidebar is. The WordPress sidebar is a widgetized area of your WordPress website where you can display content that isn't part of the main web page. This secondary content is added in the form of widgets. And these widgets can come in all different forms, such as calendars, pages on your website, posts, text, images, videos, search bars, and much more. And these sidebars are usually featured on the side of the main content of your web page. There are two locations where you can edit your sidebar widgets. The first one is in the customizer. We'll go to appearance and then customize. From here, we will choose the widgets option. This widget option now displays the different locations where we can add widgets. We have our blog sidebar, our footer, and our second footer. For this example, we'll adjust the blog sidebar widgets. So we'll go ahead and click the blog sidebar. And this will open up the widgets that are inside the blog sidebar. And right now we have our search widget, our image widget, and the text saying Yoga Studio. So there are four different ways that we can edit our widgets. And the first is to rearrange them. To rearrange our specific widgets, all we have to do is drag and drop the specific widgets where we'd like them to appear. So on the blog sidebar, the search will be displayed first, then the text Yoga Studio, and then the image. The second way we can edit the widgets is by changing the title. To change the title, click on the down arrow, and we can go ahead and add in a title for this. And to have these changes be reflected on the website, we'll click the Publish button. The third thing we can do is remove widgets. To remove a particular widget, click the downward arrow, and then click the Remove button. And the fourth thing we can do is add as many widgets as we'd like by clicking the Add a Widget button and then choosing from the menu of widgets available. And we'll go ahead and choose the Pages. And we'll title this Website Pages. And we'll go ahead and adjust the setting, Sort By, to Page Title. We'll leave it at Page Title. And we can exclude specific pages if we'd like to. And this adds it to the bottom of our blog sidebar here. So those are the four ways we can customize the sidebar from WordPress's customizer. And finally, to make these changes public on the website, we'll click the publish button. So to see our changes reflected on the sidebar, we've gone ahead and taken a look at one of the posts on our website. And we can see our sidebar is on the right hand side and it contains the search bar, our image, and our website's pages. The second way we can customize the sidebar is from the dashboard. To do this, we'll click Appearance, and then Widgets, and then we can see the different sidebars that we have on our website, the blog sidebar, the footer one, and the footer two. And we can perform all the four different editing actions, just like we did in the customizer. So for reordering, we can just drag and drop. For editing a title, we can go ahead and expand a specific element and then change the title. We can delete a widget. 
and we can add a widget from the available widgets on the left hand side. They're all laid out nicely here and we can just drag and drop our specific widget where we'd like it to be. So these two sections make it easy for us to add whatever WordPress widgets we'd like on our specific sidebars. Many WordPress themes include some form of sidebar functionality, but you'll be constrained by how the theme chooses to position its sidebar. And if you feel restricted by this, then you can add a custom sidebar to your WordPress website with the help of a third party plugin. This third party plugin is the custom sidebars dynamic widget area manager. This is a free plugin that we can use to add in custom sidebars. And we'll have a link to this plugin in the description of this video. So to install this new plugin, we'll go to plugins, click add new, and then go to the search bar and type in custom sidebar. We'll then choose install and activate. So now let's create our custom sidebar. We'll go to appearance, widgets, and now we can see a new button pop up here that says create a new sidebar and we'll go ahead and click it. We'll name it custom sidebar. And we can now see in addition to our blog sidebar, our footer one, footer two, the custom sidebar is now present. And just like our other sidebars, we can go ahead and drag and drop specific elements in it and we can rearrange them and we can delete specific widgets and we can give them a title if we want to. And then finally, we can select the location of our custom sidebar. By clicking the sidebar location, a menu will pop up where we can place the sidebar exactly where we'd like it to. The four all single entries matching a selected criteria will be the most useful for you when you're adding a custom sidebar. So we would like our sidebar to appear only on posts and not on pages. To do this, you'd click the as blog sidebar for selected post types, click in the text field and select posts, then click save changes. The theme sidebars that we have are the default sidebars. So to make sure the custom sidebar replaces these theme sidebars, we'll need to check the allow this sidebar to be replaced checkbox under each specific sidebar that we'd like to be replaced. And for our case, the blog sidebar appears on all the posts on our website. So we'll need to have this checked in order for the custom sidebar to replace the blog sidebar. So we've gone ahead and gone back to a post and we can see on the right hand side, our custom sidebar is now displaying with archives and alternative categories. So it has successfully replaced the theme blog sidebar. So in this quick little tutorial, we showed you how to add, remove and edit sidebar widgets in both the customizer and in the dashboard, as well as create a custom sidebar by adding a third party plugin to your WordPress website. So with a few easy adjustments, you can make your website more functional and easier to navigate for your website users. Thank you so much for checking out this video, everyone. If you like this little tutorial and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to the Envato Tuds Plus YouTube channel. If you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Tuds Plus has to offer. I'm Daniel, and I'll see you next time.